visitors come to our home for more than just one thing to do. It's that blended experience that makes Sarasota County unique and special. Welcome back to Step Right Up. This series of four programs covers everything from Sarasota County's world-class sports venues to our arts and culture establishments to our beautiful ecosystems and much more. So far, we've looked at our sports and arts offerings, and today we are exploring all the top spots of natural Sarasota County. There are several ways for people to interact with the natural side of Sarasota County. We have walking, running, hiking, and cycling, kayaking, canoeing, and paddle boarding, birding and wildlife viewing, and fishing and camping. And there's at least one place where you can do all these activities. The Mayaka River State Park is one of the oldest and largest state parks. The Mayaka River is designated as a Florida wild and scenic river and flows through 58 square miles of wetlands, prairies, hammocks, and pinelands. Visitors can enjoy wildlife viewing from a boardwalk that stretches out over the upper Mayaka Lake, then take to the treetops with a stroll along the canopy walkway. The park's river and two lakes provide ample opportunities for boating, freshwater fishing, canoeing and kayaking. A boat ramp provides access to the upper Mayaka Lake. Hikers can explore trails that cross large expanses of rare Florida dry prairie. Scenic lake tours are offered daily on the world's two largest airboats. Safari tram tours of the park's backcountry are offered from mid-December through May. If walking, running, and hiking is what you're looking for, we have plenty of options. The Legacy Trail offers a paved multi-use trail more than 10 miles long, connecting Sarasota and Venice for walking, running, and biking. John Ringling Causeway Bridge and Bayfront Park is named after the circus magnate who commissioned the first bridge connecting St. Armand's Lido Key and the city of Sarasota in 1925. The T. Mabry Carlton Reserve has more than 80 miles of hiking and biking trails through dry prairie, pine flatwoods, and seasonal wetlands. Red Bug Slough Preserve features shaded nature trails underneath pines and palmettos dwarfed only by oaks coated in Spanish moss. Maybe running isn't your thing. Maybe you prefer getting on a bike. Again, we have plenty of options for you. The Legacy Trail, which isn't just for walking, running, and hiking, stretches 10 miles connecting Sarasota and Venice, traveling through Osprey and Nokomis. This trail has numerous interpretive and educational signs about the early pioneers of the area and native habitats and wildlife. The Venetian Waterway Park connects to the Legacy Trail and is another 10-mile trail along the intercoastal waterway in Venice. Oscar Scherer State Park has 15 miles of biking and hiking trails and meanders along South Creek and Lake Osprey, a popular place for swimming. Lots of our visitors come to enjoy their paddle sports in the Gulf, our lakes, and rivers. Here are some great spots to recommend. Siesta Key is a perfect spot to try stand-up paddle boarding. Standing, upright, or kneeling, paddle boarding is a great workout and lots of fun. Prerequisite, good balance. The Neville Marine Preserve Trail, located in Sarasota Bay, winds around the 118-acre preserve between Siesta and Casey Keys. This trail is perfect for novice paddlers. Casperson Trail launches at Casperson Beach Park, looping through the park and south along the intercoastal waterway, and has two creeks to explore along the way. Ted Sperling Park at South Lido Beach is located at the southernmost tip of Lido Key. The park trail includes seagrass beds, mangrove tunnels, and a shallow water bayou popular among foraging wading birds. Our county is home for two separate Audubon Society Clubs because there are over 300 species of birds in the area, and visitors are flocking, sorry, to these spots. The celery fields have more than 300 acres of wetlands and upland habitat, making it a perfect place to go birding. The Venice Audubon Rookery. During nesting season from November to May, the rookery provides photographers and other visitors spectacular views of many bird species nesting in their natural habitat. Jim Neville Marine Preserve is a 118-acre preserve made up of mangrove islands and tidal flats featuring ideal bird watching and a maze of waterways. And you can only get to it by water. Lemon Bay Park and Environmental Center has nature trails, a butterfly garden, eagle nest viewing areas, and an environmental center to learn about the area. Red Bug Slough Preserve is a 72-acre preserve featuring a diverse natural environment. Visitors can see marsh rabbits, river otters, an occasional gator, and an assortment of songbirds. The Pinelands Reserve is a 651-acre reserve that is home to gopher tortoises, bald eagles, roseate spoonbills, and many other species of birds. 
Historic Spanish Point is where you can explore 30 historical, environmental, and archaeological acres at this irreplaceable outdoor museum on Little Sarasota Bay in Osprey. Fishermen love to find that special spot, and with these top spots, it's a no-brainer. The Tony Soprito Pier is adjacent to the John Ringling Causeway Bridge and is a popular pier for fishing. Hearts Landing offers rental equipment, tackle, and bait. Venice Fishing Pier is a popular destination at Brohard Beach Park on the south end of the island of Venice. City Island provides good bay and inlet fishing all around the park. Check out the New Pass Grill and Bait Shop for bait and a bite to eat before you go out. Turtle Beach Park has a tidal lagoon connecting Little Sarasota Bay. The park is named for its sea turtle nesting and gopher tortoise habitats. When it comes to camping, let's begin where we started, with Mayaka State Park. The park offers everything from fully equipped cabins to simple camping sites. Bike and canoe rentals are available, and you already know about the wildlife tours. Or how about a night on the beach? Turtle Beach Campground is at the south end of Siesta Key. It's a perfect place to spend the night on the beach, wake up and swim, kayak, go fishing, or just take a stroll on the beach. Sun and Fun Resort and Campground offers RV camping all year round and tent camping May through October. The resort itself has numerous activities and amenities, including a giant pool. Night Trail Park is unique by offering archery, hiking, and shooting sports. The park has primitive camping available and requires reservations. Have you ever Googled the word epiphyte? Well, probably not, but if you did, you'd know that epiphytes are plants that live on other plants but are traditionally classified as non-parasitic. The Marie Selby Gardens is the leader in the study, conservation, and display of epiphytes and their canopy habitats. Selby Gardens is perhaps best known for its living collection of more than 6,000 orchids, but it's also an established authority on other epiphytes, including bromeliads, gesneriads, and other plants. Marie Selby Botanical Gardens is an open-air and under-glass museum of thousands of colorful and exotic plants. The stunning tropical conservatory with its lush rainforest atmosphere displays unusual flora that can be seen all year round. Preserving and maintaining natural spaces for preservation and recreation is no easy task. Sarasota County balances conservation goals with a focus on nature-based recreation that complements the natural and cultural resources unique to each land manage. So please, do your part and be a good steward of this great heritage. To give you an idea of how Sarasota County invites visitors to come and enjoy natural Sarasota, we've included a short video for you to enjoy. After you watch this video, don't forget to take the quiz and get credit toward your Certified Hospitality Professional Certificate. Nature and wildlife enthusiasts are in their element here. There are enough trails, parks, waterways, and expeditions to keep you in your sneakers from dawn until dusk including some must-see attractions. Marie Selby Botanical Gardens is a lush oasis featuring over 20,000 plants, many collected during scientific expeditions to tropical rainforests. There are over 6,000 orchids here at Selby Gardens. You could spend hours exploring nature at Selby. If you like your nature a little more on the wild side, Mayaka River State Park is just 30 minutes away. This is one of Florida's oldest and largest state parks with fantastic hiking, camping, and fishing opportunities. The Mayaka River flows through 58 square miles of wetlands, prairies, and woodlands. Mayaka River State Park has an abundance of wildlife. So keep your cameras ready, and remember, there are no cages here. Photo opportunities are everywhere, but if you don't get the perfect shot, there's always a souvenir. Renowned photographer Clyde Butcher has said, All around me I see the fullness of life. You can't help but see it too when you explore our scenic Gulf Coast. Your adventure of going beyond the beaches starts at Sarasota's official visitor center, which is located in the heart of downtown Sarasota at 701 North Tamiami Trail.